On to race number four then, and the fourth on the programme is our feature race of the afternoon, the Kwantong Handicap Cup. This is a Class 2 contest over the 1650. Elusive State, a five-time course and distance winner with entries for International Day as well. More than likely, it's a five-time winner. Makes us all wear the debut. Glorious Artist, a two-time course and distance winner. Like seeing him for the first time since his trip to Korea. Circuit Glory can roll forward. Buddies can roll forward as well. He's three from four course and distance. And Richmond makes his uh, dirt debut. A noble steed. Well, he's a three-time winner on the turf over the 1,400 uh, metres. Uh, more than lucky, Turin Red Star, Circuit Glory and in Richmond are the horses that have spent some time at Chung Fa within the last uh, month as we have a look at the speed map for the, uh, the trophy race back. Might be a little battle early between Buddies and Circuit Glory potentially and Circuit Glory with Dylan Moe aboard, Grant Van Neerkirk taking over the ride on Buddies, potentially may let him go. Turin Red Star is another option of being there as well. He'll probably take the option to sit in Unless he pings, then he might try and lead. But they're the three you would think Raging Blitzkrieg to come across. The others probably looking for cover, as their normal pattern suggests. We've got more than lucky just working nice and quiet on the all-weather surface here before. He's going to be on the surface for the first time, so I thought he was worth to have a look at. He's by Perrin Canto, out of a Viking ruler mare. He goes nicely. Here's Glorious Artist. He's come back from a career... Uh, with that, he ran pretty well in Korea as well. Just working with Kobe Oppo, who's running in a later race. But uh, Glorious Artist, closest to us, moves OK here this morning. Interesting to see how he runs after his little trip. And here's Buddies. Buddies has gone from Class 4 up to Class 2 in uh, five starts. So he's uh, going up the rankings pretty quickly, Buddies. And he goes nicely here with a nice, quiet piece. All right, let's see if the handicap has caught up with him or not at this stage. This is the first leg of the six up, so 1.9. Going into the pool, so looking at a jackpot in the region of $5 million then if you're a six-up player. And I've got a big one to look forward to. It actually went off, didn't it, Happy Valley? It's the triple trio. It's going to be big next, yeah, yeah. Uh, next yep. Wednesday night. Let's start off then with Elusive State. This is him first up this season behind Big Time Baby. The key here, though, this was 12. He's up to his winning trip now, the 16.50. That he is. And we know he's the class runner in the race off his rating of 96. Um, interesting to read, Tony Millard in the paper suggested that he's just going to take things as they go. There are some races uh, down the track months away from now that he's potentially eyeing off, but um, it's just one step at a time, and this is obviously a nice step in the right direction. Yeah, since then he's trialled and won a trial really nicely as well, so he's, he looks cherry ripe for this. He looks hard to beat for me. All right, Joe Moreira will jump on board from Barrier 2 as well. Uh, Turin Red Star, trained by Frankie Law, has three in the race. Uh, we'll get to probably his first string in a moment, but uh, Circuit Glory also involved. Yes, um, and Circuit Glory is the front-running type here, who's had two starts on the all-weather for a second and a third. And he was only just overhauled here. This was a race that had a lot of pace in it, and he stuck on really well. You can see, actually, Playa del Puente weakens out noticeably, and he keeps going. Playa del Puente obviously won on um, last Wednesday night. So I thought that was a good run from Circuit Glory. Yeah, and uh, I, I like Turin Red Star's run as well. I mean, he, and he's won on the surface before Turin Red Star, so I found a spot for him. Yeah. Just as a side note, Playa del Puente got nine points for that win. Did he? It's mm. up to 90 now. So, um, Perfect. Yeah, he's looking good. He'll be heading towards the uh, the four-year-old series. Uh, Glorious Artist, Raging Blitzkrieg and Turin Red Star again here. Glorious Artist, a track record holder over the 1,800 metres, but has tw won twice over the 1,650. Yes, um, and we know that, obviously, the query with him is going to be how he's travelled back from Korea. Um, that piece of work Paul showed looked nice. We know he's got plenty of talent. You feel a little bit for the connections of Raging Blitzkrieg. One win, nine second placings. Very honest campaigner who generally tries well. He goes in third up. But glorious uh, artist, obviously, a class act on his night yeah. or day. Yeah, and as you, you've highlighted, it's just how he's come back, I think, from Korea. So, mm. look, I, I kept him in the numbers just to keep him safe. All right, OK. Another horse that's been in the numbers of late is Buddies, generally in the, uh, the winning column as well. His jockey, Grant Van Neerkirk. Grant, buddies, up in class, in form. You've ridden him in a trial recently. What sort of feel did he give you that morning? Um, the show was OK. Um, he, he, seems a, he seems a horse that uh, doesn't really turn it on immediately when you ask. Uh, he takes a bit of time to unwind. Um, but he's doing good. If some step up in class, you'll find it a little bit more competitive. But uh, he's a nice horse. So, um, I'm hoping he'll still be competitive. Looking at his last run, when Zach rode him and he won in Class 3, he got away awkwardly, looked like he almost came down on his nose. Did you have any troubles with him in the gates in that trial? No, he, he actually comes out really quick. Um, so 
maybe he just caught a little bit of a stumble last time because he, he comes out so quick. Um, I came out about two, two, two lengths clear of the field last time in the trial. So, um, yeah, he's a horse that, uh, that's quick out and probably I'll probably be in front and let him use his action. As you say, probably be in front, that's always an advantage on the dirt? Yeah, 100%. Uh, yeah, the less kick up you get, the better. You take on elusive state, a horse that you've ridden in track work and in a barrier trial before. What are your thoughts on him as a horse? He's a very nice horse on the dirt. Um, as I said, it's, it's a step up in class for, for buddies and you'll find it much more competitive and uh, I'm just hoping he, he gets a good run. You can't knock the form though, can you, at the moment? He's uh, three out of four course and distance, so he certainly deserves his chance. As Paul was saying, he's rattled through the ratings um, from class four into class two. Here is the trial that's been referred to as well, Raging Blitzkrieg and uh, Glorious Artos also involved. Yeah, I, look, I think Raging Blitzkrieg might go around at a bit of value in this and be some little rough chance. I highlighted his record before, just a one win but nine seconds. If there's a little shadow over Glorious Artis coming back from Korea, Buddies doesn't handle the rising grade that well, you know, then maybe you can make an elusive city potentially bounces second up, then I think you can make a little case for Raging Blitzkrieg. I know he's probably classified as a non-winner, and I'm not going to tip him on top, but I think if you're playing the exotics, TT, etc., he's a definite inclusion. Yeah, uh, yeah, you'd throw him in, definitely. I, mm. I mean, I have him in the, f in, the, in the four, but if you're doing a wider exotic, he'd, mm. he'd be one to put in. Yeah, I'm sort of clutching there at uh, no, other no, things unfolding, but yeah. it can happen. Mm. Nine times three, well, nearly five million in prize money. Yeah. Bad. That was Champion's Way, incidentally, down the outside there in the yellow jacket. Looking forward to seeing him return. Yeah. Uh, elusive state favourite, Paul. Yeah, and I'll get him on top. I think he's, he can win this race. He, look, they've, they've got lofty goals from this season. And this is the first step in those, so they'll, they'll want him to run well. 16.50 metres looks ideal for him. Barrier number two, Joe Marrera aboard. So I've got him on top. Glorious Artist, there's a question mark over him, but he, at his best, he's, he'll give this field a, a real shake. Turin Red Star, I like him coming back onto the all-weather. I thought it was a good run from him at Happy Valley last time. And Buddies, I just don't know about if he's... Uh, he's as we say, he's gone up the ratings really quickly. Has the handicap got him? Has the handicapper got him? We'll find out on... Sunday afternoon. You, I, had, I had your problem Wednesday night, <laughs> I think, Four, Paul. Three, seven. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't get my words out, but yeah. it can happen um, a lot of times, actually. Um, I've gone 7 one four, five. I, I've gone with buddies here, actually, over Elusive State, Glorious Artist, Raging Blitzkrieg. They're all very talented horses. That's why they're in Class 2. And Elusive State might just sit back and knuckle them all. Um, but I went with a 7 on the way up and the lighter weight. But I do fancy the 5 a little each way if he's you know, 10, 12, 14 to 1, I'll probably have a ticket on him. Yeah, well, he is at the moment. Mm. Um, we've all got the 147. I'm with Paul, I've got the 3 instead of the 5, but yeah. I think we're splitting hairs there. Could should be a good race. Elusive State, though, favourite for the feature race on Sunday. That's the first leg of the six up. Up next for us, race number five, first leg of the Triple Trio.